Hey everybody, it's your girl the Empress Chanel coming at you with a ooh, can it focus or something? Like you not gonna focus? And I know y'all hear the thunder. See, I had to do that in order for it to focus. Whoa, what is going on? And now I'm hearing in my head, me, can you focus on? Listen, we having a whole lot going on before I even get my intro out. So anyway, gratitude to everybody who's returning. Gratitude to everybody who's here for the first time. I've already put my Reiki energy onto this video so you can accept the healing, the clearing, cleansing in whatever area you need in your life. Um, <clears throat> if you don't accept the energy, you can reject it. Still watch the video, but you can reject, you know, any healing or clearing or cleansing that, you know, is being sent to you. And um, it will be, it's programmed to go back out into the universe for the uh, greater good. All right. So, yeah, I'm just going to do a quick energetic check-in and see what y'all got going on with my collective. Actually, first, I want to get some um, positive affirmation cards out here. We're going to do the Gaia Oracle today just because I'm kind of feeling it. I'm feeling a thunderstorm, 111 on my timer. So that's like new beginnings. So a lot of y'all got new beginnings going on, but after a whole lot of, a whole lot of, like I was talking about in the beginning of this reading, because it was a whole lot, a whole lot of going on before I was even able to greet y'all properly. <laughs> so uh, let's see. I love thunderstorms. Y'all just don't understand. Like, can y'all hear that? It's just so beautiful. That's a lot of power in the thunderstorms. Go collect some rain, especially thunderstorm rain all right so we have the temperish tempestress seduction deceit a broken promise this reminds me of the devil card okay so capricorn energy some sort of temptation going on um some sort of someone trying to deceive somebody using trying to tempt them so they can deceive them um I hear a promise was broken of, of purity. So. Or someone was trying to do something to deceive somebody, almost like some sort of word witchery or mental manipulation or something like that. Um, somebody promised somebody that they could do that. I'm hearing that somebody even paid somebody to do this. So this could be like a dark witch or a dark warlock or something like that that was promised that they could do something to somebody. Um, I hear of high honor, of high power, of high ranking spiritually, and they definitely could not. They were trying to seduce this person or put some sort of like a succubus type of energy over this person. We have flame tree, the start of something new. So they were trying to start some sort of new sexual uh, relationship with somebody thunder is confirmation <laughs> this could be a fire sign or an earth sign here we have yin and yang creating harmony through balance and at the bottom of that we have liberation breaking free from negative attachment so somebody tried to attach some sort of negative or low vibrational uh succubus or incubus type of energy to somebody uh 25 so the 25th could be significant so that was wednesday somebody could have done some sort of ritual here on wednesday um they tried to deceive you with this yin and yang energy trying to um make it seem like they were creating balance harmony um everything's cool between the two of you everything's calm but there was something that was going on in the background they was doing some sort of ritual behind your back in the background but y'all knew that shit y'all played along with a little game because you already know like i said before y'all are not they these people aren't are no longer messing around with you and playing with you and doing rituals on you when they send energy like that toward your energy your guides angels and, and and ancestors of the highest white light is on that ass. So it, it's already Friday, and these motherfuckers is, is regretting this shit already. I can't make this shit up. Five of Cups, regret, grief, sorrow, sadness. Scorpionic energy right there. But 
there's a reason why, look, Wheel of Fortune, yep. The start of nothing, something new. They were trying to start a new karmic cycle with you guys because you had already liberated yourself. You had already broken free of this fake love. You sacrificed it. See? Lost love, okay? I don't know if y'all can see. There it goes, focus. Lost love, surrender, healing, released. I'm hearing that phrase in my head. If you love something, let it go. If it comes back. So somebody was trying to convince somebody like, I'm your true love. I'm your true twin. This was a false twin. This was not their true love. And somebody got in their head. They're like, okay, well, you know what? If you're my true love, I'm going I'm to go ahead and let you go. And um, we're going to figure this out because, you know, if it's true love, if you love something, let it go. And if it comes back and it's better than ever, then, you know, that's how you know it was real true love. Honest love. Somebody just wanted time out for themselves to think for themselves, like a mental vacation. Come listen, me and my husband, we definitely get time to ourselves, okay? And I feel like that's very important when you're in a committed relationship to have, take time for yourself. Um, because of, you know, maybe one or the other person in this dynamic may be highly intuitive. So when you start you know, you know, when you're intermingling your energy with somebody constantly 24 seven and things like that, um, you will start to pick up on the energy of the people that they have around them. Okay. So you, you may start sitting there thinking like, Oh, I can't trust my partner when really it's the person that's around these, your partner that you can't trust, you know what I'm saying? Or that your partner can't trust and that you're supposed to be like putting them up on game. Like, yo, you ain't, you know, you can't trust so-and-so and so, but you know, everybody's on their divine path right here. OK, there's some sort of transformation type of energy that's going on. But somebody definitely tried to reattach themselves to somebody after a, there was a karmic completion because the wheel of fortune is a karmic completion. That's fate is destiny. And somebody failed to do it. They couldn't do it. They tried to do some sort of ritual on Wednesday. But somebody had already broke free. They've been broke free. I'm hearing cord cutting. So somebody did some sort of cord cutting. Now, somebody did a cord cutting thinking they was freeing themselves from the karma that they was getting back. They was receiving a lot of negative karma for attaching themselves to this person's money or gifts or whatever, attacking this person, however they were attacking them by deceiving them, by sending incubus succubus and, and all types of stuff to them, doing rituals, coming together with groups I'm hearing, um, with this three of cups being right here on the ground. People may have even, there may have even been some sort of bloodshed, 757 I'm seeing on my timer. Um, all of that was fated to happen though. It was supposed to catapult somebody into their new life. So somebody thought that cutting the cord with you, like, okay, <laughs> you're, I'll say the suspect and victim. You guys would be the victim. My, my non-karmics would be the victim, okay? The people who had this happen to them. Now, the suspects in this, in this situation or the people who are actually doing this or projecting this type of energy, doing all these dark rituals and meeting up with people and blah, 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 doing shit in groups, smear campaigning, I'm hearing. You removed yourself from them a long time ago, energetically. I hear somebody may have called on Archangel Michael, which is the chariot card. And I believe the judgment card. Somebody asked their angels for help. And one of their angels is Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael helps to sever energetic cords or energetic ties, unwanted energetic ties. So while the victims were calling on angels of the highest white light, like Archangel Michael, that I'm picking up on here with all this blue in these cards, the karmics or the suspects or the people who did this shit to you trying to bind themselves to you, they were doing cord cutting to try to separate themselves because they realized that they bound themselves to whatever bad luck that they was trying to put on you, whatever endings that they was trying to put on you, whatever death or destruction or sickness that they was trying to put on you or project on you, they, they, they bound themselves to that when they bound themselves to you. So they tried to do a cord cutting thinking that, man... 
Four of Swords, right, exactly. Thinking it was going to put some shit to rest. Everybody was just going to be healed and recover. And then they could put another, uh, you know, uh, connect to you again. But they found out very quickly when they did their little ritual or whatever the fuck it was that they did to separate themselves from whatever bad energy or really it was just karma with the wheel of fortune here. Because it's your karma to start something new and it's their karma to be in this regret energy so that they can learn from their lessons here. So they can sit back back and truly reflect and heal themselves. Look, the moon and the ace of rods. Start of something new. But there was some sort of secrets or delusions or illusions around that. Like I said, some sort of deceit. The ace of rods is also sexual energy. So somebody was trying to put off some sort of sexual energy. They was trying to come off as this queen of cups right here. All nice and sweet cancer energy. When really they was just not. Look, queen and king of cups. So did y'all try to do this to a fucking couple? A divine couple? It looks like a king and queen right here on the top of this wheel of fortune. And he got a cup in his hand. So that could be the king of cups. False twin energy. That I was getting before. That's crazy. Somebody tried to pretend like they was this queen of cups. This king of cups, queen of cups. But look, she ain't even got no cup in her hand. She was trying to see his real true divine counterpart get thrown off the wheel. But that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. It's the start of something new. Nine of swords right here. Now somebody all up in their head, stressed out. And look at here. His wrists are bound. Somebody is bound to just thinking about the same thing over and over and over again. They are stressed out. They got one thing on their mind and that is trying to create harmony or balance or whatever it is. No, you no. Know, the, the divine already did that shit. That's Gemini energy right there. We're in Gemini season right now. All this person can do is think about you. They're trying to do some sort of mental projection, like trying to project their thoughts. Look how this person's eyes are closed. And they're trying to project some sort of harmony or yin and yang or like I've changed with the butterfly right there type of energy toward you with this nine of swords. This person could be like up at night, having nightmares like they cannot and they're getting get back for whatever it was that they did to you, whatever rituals or whatever it is. These because incubus and succubus are definitely low vibrational demonic sex entities. And these people are getting that back. What goes around comes around. The wheel of fortune. The tables have fucking turned. With liberation right here, we have the knight of cups. And what does somebody surrender and put down? This ten of wands. This burden. This curse. This hex. Anything else you want me to say with this energetic check-in spirit? Fortune. Yep. Seduction, deceit, and a broken promise. So somebody promised somebody a, a fortune by way of associating with this other energy or attachment to uh, a divine masculine and divine feminine energy. A king and queen of cups. And they're in regret because they have absolutely no access energetically, monetarily, to neither one of these people or their fortune. They're going to get their fortune. And people is sad that they got to sit back and watch y'all get y'all fortune. Instead of turning around and looking at this two of cups and, and, and looking for the things that they could find within themselves that make their own life better. Air right here. Libra requires Gemini energy. Energy right here. Yep. And I say energy. They was trying to project some sort of mental energy toward you. Maybe nightmares. Um, have you stressed out? Thinking things aren't going to go the way you, you want them to go. Things like that. We have intimacy at the bottom of the deck. 
So breaking free, liberation, Knight of Cups from this um, charmer type of energy. This person um, is like a Prince Charming, the Knight of Cups. So somebody was trying to come as, as a Knight of Cups to a Queen of Cups or a King of Cups. No, this is love bombing. Somebody tried to love bomb somebody and put heavy burdens, curses, hexes, spells on somebody so that they could be attached to their money because I seen that Six of Pentacles right behind that. It's a whole group of people that was doing that shit community, family, friends, whatever. They was trying to do it through intimacy. But this person has healed. This person may have even got some sort of sexual healing or energetic healing, energy healing with this energy right here, yin and yang, creating harmony through balance. So somebody balanced their energetic centers and they're not stressed out anymore. And all of that is going, is backfiring, is going back onto um, the original, the temptress energy right here. All right. Um, so let me see if there's like, let me see, cause my camera about to cut off. Is there anything else you want to tell us spirit? Any advice? Graduate goals, achievement, triumph. So somebody has been initiated or graduated to a different level, um, spiritually. So these people can't even touch them. Okay. Somebody's too highly spiritually ranked. I feel like this King and Queen of Cups are too highly spiritually ranked. And now that these people are, are gone. Out of their life, yep, cleansing day and winding path. These people are going to wind back to, cycle back to wherever the fuck.